Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, what we are going to see is Intune supported device platforms. Whether we would be able to create any custom base lane to restrict Intune support for your organization for a limited set of devices. Even though Microsoft support lot of device versions, etc. If you want to restrict your users, your organization with a custom baseline policy, whether that is possible or not. So we will talk about the difference between SCM supported device platforms, Intune supported device platforms, officially supported OS operating system versions, and lot of other things. So stay tuned. So let's look into supported device platforms and baselines. What are the types of devices and platforms in Intune supported device platforms? And we will talk about a bit about SSEM as well, where it is going. And we will also talk about custom baseline policies, how we can restrict some of the device platforms, etc., etc. And we will see some demo. Just a quick recap Intune design decisions which we have seen in the last video i will link that video to to this video and you will find the link in the description of the video as well so as we discussed we are going to cover the first point in that decision making process Intune design decision making process supported device platforms and baselines i would recommend to watch this video if you have not seen now let's look into devices and platforms there are different types of devices as you can see over here printer is a device wearable watch is a device earbuds are devices mobile router camera a lot of devices around us so are we talking about all these devices managing all these devices with intune here i have highlighted few things windows client os devices ios devices ipad os devices mac os android this is not the full list and server os whether intune will support the server os or not we'll see that as well and other types of devices like chrome linux etc intune supported device platforms and as I mentioned, we'll talk about SCM or configuration manager as well as the last point. Whether all the device platforms are supported by Intune, as I mentioned over here, there are different types of devices and these devices might have different type of software or operating system to manage the actions of these devices. So are we talking about managing all those kinds of devices? Let's see whether Intune supports server OS operating system, server operating system or not. To answer the first question, no, all the devices, Intune is not going to support all the devices which you have seen in the previous slide. Intune is going to support only the specific devices at this point of time in 2023. Intune supports server operating system, whether Intune supports server operating system or not. No. Intune doesn't support server operating system. It is endpoint device management platform, unified endpoint device management. We have a video about that UEM. If you have not seen that, I would recommend to watch that as well and understand what is UEM. So Intune is only supporting client Windows client operating systems, not the server operating system. Whether Intune support virtual devices or not, Cloud PC, Windows 365, AVD, Azure Virtual Desktop, whether Intune supports that type of devices, virtual devices, yes, it does support that. Intune supports all the virtual devices if the OS version is Windows Client Operating System and Windows 10, 11, multi-session as well supported by Intune. Those types of operating systems, multi-session operating systems are also supported by Intune in an Azure Virtual Desktop world. Whether Intune support IoT devices? Don't think so. Intune support IoT devices at this point of time. Some of the devices 
with specific windows operating system are supported we'll see that in the later slide but let's assume at the moment that iot devices are not not supported if the operating system of iot devices is not supported by intune then those iot devices are also not supported so as i mentioned this is a endpoint device platform we have a video about intune what is intune you can watch that video to get more details about endpoint device management platform and how intune works etc so SCM used to support linux devices used to support different device platforms but now SCM support is reducing only to windows platform even mac os support is going away from SCM so it only supports windows devices and it supports server operating systems as well SCM supports windows devices windows operating system server operating system is also supported by SCM so for example server 2016 server 2019 and the latest server versions are also supported by SCM but not by Intune now let's look into Intune supported operating systems android ios ipad os linux not all the versions of linux and even uh, this is applicable for all the device platforms or, or operating systems all the versions of operating systems are not supported for linux all the variants of linux is not support all the variants of linux are not supported mac os is supported operating system windows again i said server os is not supported in windows and there are different windows operating systems those are not supported so we will see that which are the versions of windows supported by intune chrome os is also supported but there's a catch over there as so we'll see that okay so intune supported operating system versions this is very important to understand so this is the intune platform supported operating system versions so over here you would be able to see operating systems and then versions different types of versions if they have and different variants etc right android 8.0 and later are supported by intune at this point of time android enterprise versions also supported and there are some of android open source project devices like some of the iot devices maybe are under this operating system not connected to google services global google services you won't be able to access google play etc etc on those devices so those types of devices are also supported by intune so that is very interesting topic ios version 14 and above are supported by intune ipad os 14 and above are supported by intune so there is no surprise over there linux so linux support is these variants ubuntu desktop 22041 LTS and Ubuntu desktop 2004 LTS these are the only two variants of Linux operating system supported with a graphical desktop environment so this is very important to understand so all the variants of Linux are not supported only the Ubuntu desktop 20 and 2204 are supported with graphical desktop okay mac os 11.0 and above versions are supported okay here is a important thing windows windows 10 windows 11 are supported holographic lens all those things are supported this is a wearable right It's not a iot device maybe so this is supported surface hub is supported and ms teams supported devices are also supported chrome os chrome os microsoft didn't provide any supported operating system versions 
because the device management the core device management part of chrome os is managed by google workspace management solution and the latest supported versions of google work workspace management are supported by intune as well so that is why if you look at microsoft documentation you won't be able to see any chrome os supported versions and in the google document also it is mentioned that latest version of chrome os is supported by google workspace management solution now let's quickly look into intune custom baseline policies what are these why do we need custom baseline policies here microsoft says intune support 8.0 and above versions of android but if you want to restrict all the android devices from your intune subscription if you don't want to support any of the android devices from your intune then you can disable the enrollment of any android device platform to your intune management so if you are having a policy within your organization stating okay we only support ios ipad os and windows devices maybe mac as well we want to restrict android devices device platform so we can use custom policy enrollment restriction policies to be precise for that particular scenario which i explained to disable android device enrollment we can do that for windows as well if you want to deploy or manage the ios mac os and android devices not windows then you can do that with this custom baseline policy or enrollment device platform restriction policy so we will look into the details of this policy in the demo how can you configure this etc before going into demo you can see that this is the architecture diagram of intune and you can see different device platforms devices types of devices supported by intune and how all these things are connected how the device will contact intune intune services etc in the cloud now let's look into the demo here you can see in the devices enroll devices menu you would be able to go to enroll devices in intune portal and click on enrollment device platform restrictions and you would be able to see android device restrictions windows device restrictions mac os restrictions and ios restrictions a device must be compliant with highest priority enrollment restrictions highest priority comes first always so if the user is part of both these policies then number 1 will take the priority and it will win right so that is highest priority that is very important to understand the default policy is deployed to all the users if you don't have any custom policy then default policy will apply let's say check what is device default policy go to properties and you can see all these are allowed all these platforms are allowed if you want to block android enterprise work profile you can block that in the default policy but i don't recommend that a better create a custom policy and block if you want don't change the default policy if that is possible so that is my recommendation don't change the default policy okay let's cancel this we have seen the default policy now go back let's create a android restriction policy for example to cater our scenario we want to kind of disable all the android devices enrolling into intune for my organization so let's put the name and description and then you have two types of profiles android enterprise android device administrator you can block the platform itself that is what we discussed if you don't want android devices you don't want to manage android devices then you you can restrict users using any of 
the Android devices for the enrollment. Click on block to block it. Then you don't need to worry about all these things. Versions, personally owned, whether it is a corporate owned device or a personally owned device. Device manufacturer, for example, you don't want to have LG and Android devices. Then you can restrict that. In this scenario, I'm just going to blindly block all the Android platform as we discussed. But if you want to allow it and you want to say, okay, I want to have only zero. And we can say maybe this is also nine. This is what my company policy is. I will only support Android version 9.0 and above. In this scenario, now the personal devices as well as corporate devices are supported. And if you want to block work profile for personal devices, then you can do that. Device administration for device administration also, you can do that. Click on next if you want that. Otherwise, just block this. This is what we want. And if you want, you can add scope tags and then group memberships you can add. So you can deploy the custom policy to devices as well as users. Click on next. Then you have created the policy. And you can see priority is three. But if you want to increase the priority, if you go to this policy over here, you would be able to see there's a three three dots and click on that three dots and drag it down. See, now it will be changed to priority three and you can change it to priority one if you want. Right? See, Android enrollment restrictions change to one. All right, that is something we have seen. Now, Windows policies windows device restriction policies stmd windows enrollment restriction policy let's see that so the thing is pretty straightforward over here mdm the option is to block so that means everything is blocked windows device management windows enrollment is blocked you cannot enroll any Windows devices into this Intune platform. That is a blind block. You are not looking into the versions. You are not looking into anything else. You are just blocking it. The personal devices as well as the autopilot enrolled devices, everything is kind of blocked for Windows if you do this block. And if you want to fine tune the block to only particular versions of Windows, uh, OS versions. I don't know. Maybe you can you can put all these details. I want to have the minimum Windows version with this and maximum with this. Maybe 11.0. There's no 11.0 version at the moment, but just saying. Okay. Now you can restrict the personal devices if that is not allowed as per your security policies then you can block the personal device enrollment you can block that and you can see only the autopilot enrollment or any other type of official enrollment are allowed in our organization but if you want to restrict entire windows platform you can do by this so i'm going to go with this and scope tag same thing right i'm not going to go through all those things because i already kind of explained it and same with mac os restrictions mac os give it a name and description click on next and again this is similar to windows device restrictions okay blanket block for all the mac os maybe you are saying oh okay i'm using jam for some other Mac OS device management platforms rather than Intune. Okay, you can do that by enabling this block. Device restrictions not supported. Yes, if your organization has a policy that Mac OS personal devices are not supported, then you can use this block. The only difference you can see version based block is not possible for Mac OS at the moment. 
going to block personal devices in this scenario the only supported enrollment of mac os through abm not any other type of enrollment are supported if you are not sure what is abm don't worry i will add a link to the description of the video to get more details on that and we will cover this topic in the later videos click on next scope tag everything is same so i'm not going to go through all those things now let's see ios restrictions what are the things available and so most of the time ios and ipad os are the same because that is based on the same operating system version give it a name and description then you have the similar options like windows like mac os very similar to windows but in mac os allow minimum maximum range is not there okay, this is the blanket block for intune device management platform if you want to restrict all the ios devices and ipad os devices to enroll into your organization's intune platform you can use this blanket block whenever user tries to enroll any ios ipad os devices they will get an error this is not allowed this is restricted please contact your administrator or something otherwise it will give the user a weird error depending on the platform now if you want to allow ios ipad os devices but with a certain version then you can say okay i only support version 14 and above but i will support both personal and corporate type of devices but if you have a scenario where you want to block all the personal devices ios and ipad os devices and you want to allow only corporate devices you can block this in ios i want to allow personal as well as corporate device enrollment scenarios so that is why i am going to allow this so if you don't know what is enrollment scenarios we'll come to that in the next video so stay tuned so click next complete the creation of the policy and you can always go back and assign it now you can see that it is not assigned to any user group or device we have talked about a lot of things in this video we talked about Intune supported device platforms, Intune supported operating systems, Intune supported operating system versions, and custom baseline policy for your organization to set up Intune device restrictions and device type restrictions, etc. Hopefully, all these things are helpful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.